Hi guys, today I'm sharing with you is uh, this is a 1984 Singapore uncirculated coin set. Um, it's a collection coin where it's issued for for the lunar years in Singapore. They all, they started this program in 1980, if I'm not mistaken. So this is 1984. Oh, firstly I need to tell. This one is a gift from my friends. It's a, a friend from Labuan who um, sent over to me. So I, I decided to take this um, opportunity to share with you all. This is the uncirculated coin where it's very nice. See, 1984 is the year of the red. So this year, 2020, is also year of the red. So in reality, it's already 36 years for this coin set. And these coin sets are kept in a very well, um, good conditions. Um, I'm not sure how it keep, but it's a very rare to see a condition that is um, is so good. And the coin itself is still uh, intact and. I believe it's not taken out the coin at all. It's uh, been there since day one. So those who were born in the year of um, 19, 1900 or 1912, 1924, 1936, 1948, 60, 72, and 84. So I believe uh, those in the 1900 are no longer in uh, this world. So probably 1912 also no longer in this world. So the one that's still around is um I believe is 1924 if you are lucky enough. So basically, it's already 36 years since 1984. So let's come, let's share with you. This is the Singapore uh, first series coin. Um, at, at the moment, I believe Singapore is already using the third series coin now. Um, if I have time, I will share with you the second series and the third series as well. So what I have now is the first series. is is a 1984 uncirculated coin set. So in Singapore, they only have 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, 20 cent, 50 cent and 1 dollar. So they use the term dollar instead of... Um, it's exactly the same. So it's not ringgit or you know other currency uh, term name. So for this, it's a very classic one cent. If you come across, is um, everything is in 1984 because it's issue for the year of the lunar of red. Um, this is how it looks like. So for a one cent, it's a Cooper clack. It's a real Cooper clack. And the ten five cent, ten cent. Um, let's have a closer look. For five cent. And this is the 10 cent, 20 cent, uh, 50 cent, and this is the dollar in 1984. All in a very is un a uncirculated conditions. And one cent is a bit uh, toning because uh, it's copper. Copper tends to coat to fox um, tone a bit after certain years. Um, the other one are all uh, copper, nickel. So it's, it's still in very good condition. Let's have a look at the back of it, uh, how it looks like for the first series of Singapore coin. So this is how it looks like. For the one cent, it shows the uh, housing or in Singapore. The five cent over here is show um, snake and um, snake and what is this called? I'm not sure. Yeah, snake and a bird. So the 10 cent will be uh, seahorse and the 20 cent is a swordfish and the 50 cent is a lionfish and the dollar is a style lion. So let's have a closer look at the descriptions and how the size and weight and the diameter of it. So in total, the only one cent is copper clad. That's copper clad means it's, it's a container of um, a magnetic to steel, so it sticks to the magnet, magnetic. And the other 5 cent, 10 cent, 20 cent, 50 cent, and dollar are all copper nickels. And this is the description of it. So it's stated there in Singapore in the year of 1984. And today I'm sharing with you this is the uncirculated coin set issued by the Board of Commissioner of Currency Singapore. It's produced and sold by the Singapore Mint, acting as the currency board sole sales agent 
for Singapore numismatic coins. So this is in a bl blue velvet with a Singapore logo and it's a cap in a very good conditions um, worth to keep for collectors like me and um, I'm sharing my collection with you all so that hopefully you all will enjoy uh, how it looks like if I come across other currency or other coins I will share with you more so today I'm sharing with you um, this is the first series Singapore coin and if you like my video as usual do click subscribe and share more to your friends and hopefully if you have any comments you can put it down there and we can learn together and have more um, informations about numismatics of the world coins so thank you very much and have a nice day